The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart of Facebook to start the day. It's in the news. Uh, they're banging it up because some people think that they take advantage of people. And by golly, I find that hard to believe, being as philanthropic as those folks are. I posted the chart of Facebook. If you remember, when we were down there at the 318 level, uh, a lot of reasons to say to buy it. Uh, we go, or went through those. As you can see, the 78%, that was just one of the things that was there. Now what we've done is we've seen a nice uh, six-day rally, uh, ABCD format, as you can see there right on the chart, uh, right up here at this uh, 340 area. I think the high was 344 yesterday. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, that should be uh, some type of a correction now, just even if it's a short-term correction. Maybe a larger one? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. But let's move on to something. Those that you that stay with me all night long, we had something very interesting last night that a lot of you folks that don't follow commodities might not pay attention to, and that is that we made a slightly higher high in the absolute um, black gold of crude oil. Take a look up here. You'll be able to see it. This is the, uh, this is the November crude. We made it a higher high by about uh, 60 cents. You can see the ABCD format that came in yesterday exactly at the 61% retracement. From there, we went up and made new highs. But as we were making new highs last night, folks, we were not making new highs in heating oil, not even close. And the gasoline contract could barely, I mean barely, make a new high by two ticks. And when you see something like that, that should alert you that maybe something's not correct. Now, this is an hourly chart. So you can see here, this happened uh, right about uh, pretty, pretty close to midnight, uh, New York time. And then uh, what happened was the market came down. You know, normal, just dropped the usual, you know, thousand bucks, uh, one dollar a barrel. But then look, look what happened, folks, uh, where that black line is. You see that black line? That took one, two, three, four, five and a half hours to complete, and it stopped exactly at the 382 level at 8320. The high was 8323. We're now trading a thousand dollars below that. Now, that, that's what we call a very, very low-risk entry point. Uh, and, in fact, you had a little bit of divergences, you know, between the, the major contracts. So uh, what I do is I have limit minders set. And when these limit minders go off, it reminds me to take a look at those. And that's what I was watching. So I sent out a video on that, uh, alerting the fact to the people that that's what was happening. And so far, you know, it actually worked for a little while, you know, and that's basically what we're, we're paying attention to. And I know a lot of you got a lot of laughter out of the fact that I was giggling on the uh, <laughs> the video for the gold and silver because I, 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 I was confused as to what to do. And I'm not confused anymore. I'm still in doubt, but never confused. Let's just get this silver contract up here because it was so doggone strong that uh, yeah, I had to respect it because we went through the 382 like it didn't exist. We went through the 618 like it didn't exist. And we went through the 78% level like it didn't exist. Now, the gold didn't do that much. I mean, the gold was still going against that 786 at the 1794. And that's what my quandary was. My quandary was... Do I sell it there and risk $5, or do I wait to see how it gets there? Because I was watching silver really powering ahead. Well, the powering ahead train stopped yesterday, uh, early in the morning. And uh, well, it was early this morning, around 2 o'clock, the the price of the silver started to relax a little bit. And in fact, it broke below the 382 retracement. That set up a potential for a 60 or 70 cent break down to the 382, the 61% retracement, which was equal to the last break that we had. So I'm waiting to see if that happens. And so far, it has not happened. That was not 
what we call an easy trade. Easy trades like the one in the uh, in the crude oil. That's the easy one because you've had you know five hours. It, you go up to the 382. That's telling you it's not very powerful, and so that's the main thing. Now the second thing that people have asked me about is to keep an eye on this uh, Bitcoin because everybody I don't know what it's the future is. Rich Anderson will be our guest today, and hopefully he will uh, help help us decide whether it's an ETF, but how they're handling it. I know it's a hundred percent margin or more. But I don't know. I, I, I will not plan to be trading this at least for a couple of months, I would think. But that's uh, – thank you. This is it. <laughs> no, I am not I am not bi bipolar. Okay, let's move up here. <laughs> I, I'm just sleepless. Uh, this is the BITO, the ETF. Just started. You'll notice here we had the, uh, the – this, where it opened, you can see we opened at 42, came all the way down to 40. From 40, we went up a little above the 618 which was at 43.40. We went all the way up to 43.90. And then, as you can see, look where the retracements. The first one stopped exactly at the 3.82. The second one stopped exactly at the 50%. And the third one just stopped just a little while ago at the 78% level. And you can see with the naked eye the ABCD patterns that are there. And, you know, real easy to spot out. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to. Regarding uh, our guest yesterday, Jim Bartolioni, I had several people ask me about what was that plaque that was on the uh, the F-18 that, that he uh, that he that he uh, flew. And basically it was a little red plaque next to the red button. And the red button was for the uh, surface to air missiles and the little red plaque. And this is what it said. Can't post it here, but I will tell you what it said. Press this button to kill every MF in sight. And that's what it said. And uh, uh, I always thought that was uh, relatively funny. But it was surface-to-air missiles. There's two of them on those. And anyway, that's what we're looking We're going to have Jim on again because he's very, very good. Uh, as a tech. The fact is, I've always mentioned in my books uh, many, many years ago that the, the first students that I trained that were the easiest to train were the pilots. And the reason why they were easy to train was the fact that they're worried, they're worried about landing, right? That's risk. And the second thing is it's an X and Y coordinate. They knew how to read a map. And that's why it was. Uh, that's what we're doing when we're looking at these things. We're basically looking at a map to see if uh, things are, uh, you know, going the right way or not. So we'll see if that's it. I hope uh, there's not too much sound coming in on the background here because the uh, what do you call it? The our, our our neighborhood here, our association. We have uh, gardeners that come in and take care of the gardening, and this happens to be their time of the day. So they're doing that. Can can you tell me? Can you anybody hear background noise of, uh, of that blower that's out there? I can hear it through the through my microphones, but I don't know if you folks can hear it uh, in the area here. No, it's okay. good. No problem. Everything's cool, Sarah. We're all right. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let's let's. Uh, uh, okay, here here's what we want to look at, folks. Uh, you got to give me a little bit of a little bit of a little leeway here. Let me take a look here. This is. Uh, I'm going to go back here to 2008. Okay, uh, excuse me, 2007 in October. I'm going to bring this chart up because you're going to be able to see what happened here. 2000 in October of 2008, we were making a new high up there. Right there, uh, we made, made a new high by about 100 points in the Dow Jones Industrial. This was on the weekly. Now, I started with uh, with TFNN in August of uh, 2007. I think it was uh, uh, it was right after, it was a couple days before, because uh, on August 15th that day, I've mentioned several times, that was the date Skype went out. It had only been going for a short period of time, so they were out. And the Dow Jones was down uh, well over uh, 300 points uh, on the day. And the NASDAQ was almost unchanged. I mean, I, I had not seen that. In fact, Tom and I were talking. If you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave.
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the weekly chart of the S&P 500 back in 2007. That was October 7th. We had that harvest moon uh, actually on that date, and um, we were looking for something pretty significant to happen, and, of course, we, we did see it. Now, I don't – this is a weekly chart. All, all I'm trying to show you here, folks, and that, that's one of the things that you do uh, when you watch these markets closely, like – Everybody here, that, that Steve Rhodes, uh, Basil Chapman, David White, Tommy O'Brien, uh, Tom Sr., they all look at these uh, close things that occur when you make a new high and you don't go charging ahead. I mean, that, that's the market's telling you that they're, they're, it's getting tired. That's what happened in, in crude oil today. The market makes a new high and it immediately gives it back up. I mean, my alerts went off uh, uh, sell and buy at the same time, almost. That's how quickly it went. And then what you do is you wait for the next signal, and that's what you try to look for here. Now, what I'm watching for is I, we've made new highs now in the Wilshire 500 index. We've made substantial new highs in the Dow Jones, uh, excuse me, in the New York Stock Exchange index, which is one of the broader ones that we look at. That We have not made new highs in the S&P yet. We will soon, probably, and very soon, probably, in the NASDAQ. Now, if we don't, we get out here a day or two and that hasn't happened, that tells you that somebody was up there, you know, telling you that, tell them, maybe this is not right. So let's uh, let's play, pay very close attention to it. Whenever I look at something like this and I see the market making a new high, it always reminds me of the time when Steve Shapiro and I were trading with Bryce Gilmore uh, back in 1992 there in Pismo Beach. And uh, the uh, he was getting ready to go play golf. And he, 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 of course, being from Australia, he couldn't trade U.S. 
futures market, so I let him do mine, trade in my account. So he sold six bonds, and he wanted to put a one tick stop on them. And I said, Bryce, I said you can't use one tick on on the Treasury bonds. And he said, Larry, he said if they see whatever that number was, O2, I forget what it was, the exact number. But he says if they if they see O2, I'm going to take all of these blankety blankety blank books that I have about the market, take them out to that pier there at Pismo Beach, and throw them into Pacific Ocean, drive to Los Angeles, buy a few exotic cars, and take them back to Australia and sell them. And he says, if you think I'm kidding, put a stop at O2. Well, I I couldn't put a stop at O2. That violated every fiber of my being. So we finally got filled at O1. And as he was leaving to play golf, uh, the market dropped a half a point down, you know, down 500 bucks. So he made three grand. And uh, he yelled, uh, I yelled to him and he asked what they were doing. I said, well, they're down, they're down a bit now. And he said, oh, he said, let's take the profit. And I said, aren't you looking for something really big? He said, three grand's enough for me. And by golly, at the end of the day, they were down a point and a half, which was 9,000 dollars and when we went to dinner that night there was a whole bunch of people we were all trading together and stuff and we went to Jocko's for dinner and I never mentioned it to him until the next day and the next morning when he woke up around 10 o'clock he said why didn't you tell me at dinner last night that the market had broken so much I said hey I, d I really forgot about it. I didn't forget about it. I just didn't want to spoil the dinner. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this chart here. The things we want to watch for, this thing may go up and, you know, do a flying Melinda to the upside. I don't know, folks. But the fact that it's, we're seeing it across the, all areas and we're seeing it in uh, – in some of the financials from the the UK and also from the DAX, we had to pay attention to it. So that's the the main thing of what I'm trying to show you when we're watching these things today. I believe we got a caller coming in now. I think it could be Mr. Z himself. John, how are you? Larry, I'm doing very well. Uh, we always enjoy your show, sir. Well, I'm glad. Who is the other one? Is there someone else? You said we. Who was the other person? <laughs> yeah, okay. that person remains anonymous. Yes, that's what I thought. He he would he won't get his twenty dollars. You asked to talk <laughs> about uh, you asked to talk about little Joe the uh, coffee. Is that correct? Indeed, got a okay. very a couple of very specific questions for you on the December New York Board of Trade coffee futures contract, please. I got it right here. I'm looking at a double top from July to October. Here again, you'll notice that we took out the high of July by just a half a cent, and we never went any higher than that. That was the first sign that, uh-oh, maybe that is a double top. John, where we are right now, the jury is already out. They came out yesterday. Yesterday's rally was a 382 retracement. It took one, two, three, four days to get there, reversed with an outside day today to the downside. This puppy is going down at least to 190. It's going to go down at least 13 points to that downtrending line that will come in around the 78% level. I hope that helps. That's what I'm looking at. And believe me, I have no interest in coffee and never intend to have an interest in coffee. So I and hope the that reason, helps. And uh, you've made that very clear over the years. So my reason for calling and asking you about this pattern is just to draw upon your decades of experience trading patterns. And let me uh, pursue this just a step further, if I could, please. Please. I, I was watching. Oops, I was watching. Excuse me. Let me step back. I have not traded coffee since like September twenty seventh, eighth. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, getting a bit of reverberation there. Let me just continue. So I did see a week and a half ago, the market rallied up and completed a perfect ABCD pattern. And the high in the December coffee back there uh, a week and a half ago was 215.15. Mm -hmm. The spot contract high back in July there was 215.20. So as yep. you point out, an exact double top. Yes. My, my question, sir, is when you've seen this sort of phenomenon over the years, uh, if you were trading it uh, aggressively, you would have shorted it up there. I would have, too, except I wasn't paying attention or wasn't focused upon it. But my question is, after seeing a pattern like this, if in the next weeks a rally takes us up and over that double top, is that the sort of pattern that you actually chase with a buy? That's my question. 
This really simple question for me to answer, John. A, I never chase. I never chase. I never chase since my grandmother told me to always carry two quarters with you because if you can't find the girl on the first bus, she's going to be on the second bus. That's why <laughs> I don't chase. The other reason is every every time I've ever done that, John, every time I've ever chased a market, and I can't think of one time where I've chased a market, you know, please let me in, please let me in, that it's worked for me. So I just forget. I worked here four years in this office here in Tucson, Arizona with Mark Douglas. He tried for two years to get me to buy break. Breakouts. And I and I was so so against it. He finally said, "You know, it, it's really doing you a disservice to try to get you to change from doing what you're doing." Because he would, we would look at these things break like silver yesterday. You know, silver broke out to the upside and immediately dropped fifteen hundred dollars. I'm not going to pay fifteen hundred dollars to see if a valid breakout in silver. So I, I I don't need that. You know, and some people can do it. I happen to not be one of them. I tell everybody that. You know, I'm looking for a pattern that I can say, okay, if I buy here, how much do I have to risk? If I buy in a breakout, John. I've got to immediately look and say, okay, where's the place where I'm going to define where I'm going to be wrong? And, and you could do this. You could easily buy that breakout at 216. Now, if you do that, you're going to have to say, how much am I going to risk? I would say coffee at 400 bucks a pop uh, per, per uh, penny. I would say, okay, the most you're going to have to risk is $800. Now, if I'm willing to take that $800 and buy that breakout, yes, I could do it. But I don't chase. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for your time, Larry. Thanks you, buddy. Take it easy. Be safe, my friend. Mr. Z, always a good guest. We'll be right back, folks. Hopefully we're going to have Rich Anderson on. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to expand on what I just talked to Mr. Z about, about, you know, buying breakouts and stuff like that. I posted the chart of the silver. Those of you that belong to the 24-7, you've probably seen this so many. Well, you've seen it here in the den, too, but I've been sending it out quite a bit because of the fact that it's broken out of that uh, really strong 382, which was at 2418. Look at the left of the chart there on October the 19th. You notice uh, once it hit the 382, it dropped all the way down. It dropped. 40 cents all the way down to that's two thousand dollars to the uh 2364 level from 2364 it broke out you'll see it broke out above the 382 again at four uh, at 2418 okay it went up to 24 uh, 28 and from 2428 it dropped fifteen hundred dollars you can see it just dropped like a rock now if i buy that breakout i've got to be willing to set with a fifteen hundred dollar loss or put my stop up there somewhere where I don't have to you know I don't have to worry about what the breakout is. And then it continues up and you can see it made a one point six one eight expansion up there at that twenty four forty level, stayed there for quite some time. But what we're looking at right now is if you take that that big break that we had on the 19th and measure that, you'll see all I did was I cloned that line and I moved it over to show you where the Gartley is down there at twenty four hundred. Uh, that's down 20 cents from where we are right now. Now, if we get to 2,400, I've got a really good chance there that I know I don't have to risk very much at all. I can only risk 10 cents, which is $500 in silver. So that's that's what I try to do. I, I'm just not a very good breakout trader. If you're going to be a, bake, a breakout trader, what you have to do is you've got to learn to draw a valid trend line. Let me just do that for you right here in silver right now, and I'll show you that valid trend line, and it, it'll be the same principle that we just worked on. Let me just draw it in right here. Okay, and then you'll see what happened. I'll get it up here, and this is right out of the Hearst book, valid trend line. You'll get up there and take a look at this. You'll be able to see this. Uh, hold on one second. There we go. You see how we, we broke the trend line there at 24.28. We went all the way up to 24.40, matching that old high, and look where we are now. We're, we're down again. So you you got to decide where your risk is. That's why I do patterns, folks. And if you look at this pattern just a little more closely, we'll just, we'll just draw it in so you can see it uh, as close as we can possibly get here to, so you'll be able to see what we're watching. See, now if you look at this, now you're going to be able to see – this might not work, but now at this point, look what I've got. I've got two major numbers coming in there at 2498, uh, okay? That's uh, 20 cents from where we are right now. 2498, I got two, two numbers in there right there. So at that point, I could only risk uh, 8 cents, $400. And if I'm wrong, I lose four hundred dollars. Not sixteen hundred, not two thousand, but four hundred. I can try four hundred several times, you know, before I finally look at these things in the eye and say, hmm, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I don't really know. Now, one of the things that we were doing uh, over the last few days is we've been watching the soybean contract quite a bit. I'm going to bring this up. This is a perfect example of uh, you know why you want to be able to pay attention to uh, A B C D patterns, and I know. We do that here at ABCD, uh, ABCD Central. Hold on just a second. Folks, I got to keep doing it because it's all I know. You know, I don't understand the oscillators and all that other stuff. So I just, ABCD, it's all I know is AB equals CD. And this is all I know and it's all I need to know. And there we go. And there we go. There we go. Let's take a look at the old soybeans here. We'll just get this up here so you folks can take a look at it. There we are right now. Uh, Rich is swamped today, so he's not going to be able to be with us. So that's it on a 15-minute chart. If we go down and look at the hourly chart on that, uh, you're going to be able to say, let's just do something a little different before we do the hourly. Let's get back to that 15-minute and draw in the three-drive pattern. And just to see how we're doing this is uh, get this up here. Oh, uh, shucks, it doesn't draw the way I want it to. But one of the things that when you're looking at ABCD patterns, one of the things you want to do, folks, is to measure the distance 
in your AB leg. And when it, when it starts the AB leg the second time, when it starts the AB leg the second time, just measure. This is Gann's pr price and time stuff. I mean, if Gann did some wonderful things, and if anything he ever did was price and time, this is right out of, you know, Pythagoras's. Uh, uh, playbook, you know, where price and time come together. But look, look at, look what we have. Let's just see how well I, I'm not doing this. I've done it before, but I'll double check it again. Here's what we're looking at when we're watching this right now. Just one thing, Jack Palance. I'll never forget. Oh, Jack used to come into the Drexel Burnham office. He wasn't my account. Uh, Gene Fairman was his broker, but he would come in and he would do his one-handed push-ups. He always had a suit on with his bolo tie and stuff. And what a what a amicable, perfect gentleman he was. He wasn't that mean old dude that looks like in city slickers and in all and in Shane and all that other stuff. He was a, just a super nice guy, ex-Marine, Silver Star winner and all that stuff, but just a really nice guy. Now, you can see the move, the AB leg in that first ABCD, how it came. All I'm going to do now, let's see if it, how close we come. I'm just going to move it over and see where we come in as far as the high, and you're going to see that we come in. Very, very close to the high. And you can see the three drive to a uh, top pattern up there at that 1258. And if you look at this on the daily basis, and this is what we did on the in the uh, in the video last night, is because we bought this, you know, correctly, you, you'll be able to see that we had some really nice uh, patterns there. But if you look at this, this is no different than Facebook or anything. But there we were at the 78% level last night with that double ABCD there at 1258. And the high was 12.59 and a quarter. We've dropped 20 cents from that level, and it's certainly it, you could say, well, gee, uh, is this trading with the trend? Well, I don't know. All I know is we booked a few profits. You can see the downtrend line. Look at this. And and I said to the people, if you want to go short, that's where you do it. I I didn't do it, but I said that's where you want to do it. Look at the downtrend line. This is a this is a breakout of a of a downtrend line. Look at that. There's your look at there's a valid trend line. You see it hit once. Hits it, hits it again on the 17th, it hits it again on the 27th, and it hits it again today. You hit it three spots. Now, if this were going to be a 135 pattern, I'm doing a little bit too much here today, but let's just pay attention here. We should have some symmetry between highs and highs. Let's just draw that in here and see see if that means anything. And uh Shut the front door and raise the rent. Look at that, Marty. It's got from high to high to high. Comes in today. Well, there you go. There's price and time coming together. Circus, the circa of WDGN of the 1920s, uh, 30s, and 40s, and 50s. Anyway, that's uh, basically pr squaring price and time, in my opinion. You know, that's what we're trying to do is to line these up. Not looking at anything related to the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the... Uh, uh, fundamentals and stuff that we hear in the news. And speaking of fundamentals, since we've got a minute here to chat with you boys and girls, we should talk about one market that is, uh, we talked about going to the funeral of this, and it will be soon. It just hasn't happened as of yet. Just give me one second here. It's the old Bondolis, and they are, it's a matter of, oh, what happened to the Bondolis? Shut the front door and raise the rent. What happened to my bonds? Just a second here. Uh oh, this is we got a major problem here. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here it is. Here it is, right here. Just a second here. We'll be right back. We'll talk about the bonds here in just a minute. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, Mr. Z has asked me to take a look at the uh, Nikkei futures, and uh, Z, I'm embarrassed to say that I haven't traded them in whew, so many years, I can't even remember, at least 10, maybe more, and I don't want to start now, so I'll have to pass on that. Uh, I don't even know what the chart looks like, actually. Uh, and that's just neither here nor there. But let's take a look here at the bond market. I believe I posted the longer-term daily chart here on bonds because I'm sure I have. Hold on, see. All right, one second. <laughs> uh, hold, uh, if you ever get out this way, and uh, Bart lives over in uh, San Diego, you'd enjoy meeting with him, Z. Anyway, this is the uh, there's a three drive pattern you can see at the 78 percent level down here at the 156. We're trading 157 and a quarter now, taking out the lows of October so far. We are heading down to that number. The thing to pay attention to is you'll see the last rally that we had up there at that 160. That was right when the Fed was out there. And uh, that was the 382 rally off of that high that we made in September. This market's been going down since Hector was a pup, and that dog's nine years old now. So look at look what this thing topped. You know, this is what I don't understand about people. You know, <laughs> what am I talking about? I do it all the time. Let's take a look here at this long-term weekly chart here in the Treasury bonds. Okay, now remember up there, boys and girls, up there at that 192 level in the T bonds. Okay, remember that. Okay, that was when they were telling us that we've got a really good idea for you. It's called negative interest rate. You give us the money, okay, and we're going to charge you for keeping it, and we're not going to give you any guarantee that you're going to get your money back. Now, that sounds like a pretty good deal. You know, they were lined up in 27 countries to pick it up. Are you kidding me? I don't understand it. It's almost as bad as the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. I mean, I saw him do some stupid things on Wednesday, Tuesday night, but last night was the dumbest of all. The best hitter for the team comes up, okay? He's hit a, he's hit a single, a double, and a triple. They call that a, uh, they call that, uh, how would I call that? Uh, I, there's a special name in baseball uh, that they have for it. Very few people have ever hit a single, double, and a triple, and a home run all in one game. So they're ahead, they're ahead six to nothing, right? Or six to one. 
And guess what happens? This kid comes up to bat, and it's in the top of the ninth inning, all right? Bases are loaded. What do you think he does, boys and girls? Did, does it take a – he's already hit three out of four, three out of four hits up. He's had a single, double, and a triple. He hits it into the right field bleachers for a home run. And uh, bada bing, bada boom, he gets his uh, round robin. That's what it's called, and uh, that, that's uh, that's what happened. Anyway, that <laughs> I I thought it was comical because he did the same thing the night before. He had a chance that uh, you don't want to hear about baseball. Not very important. Let's get back to his bond weekly. That last rally we had back there at 167. That was way back in July. That was the first 382 retracement there. I mean, that was a really. This is what we're seeing in the in the coffee today. Was this, this is what we saw in the crude oil today. The through, no, that 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 382 is a nice little signal. I think it's worth pretty good anyway. We'll keep an eye on it as we go through looking at these things here. Okay, any other questions that we might have? Oh, someone's asked a question about something that J uh, Bart was talking about that was in the uh, in the currency markets. We want to get this up here to uh, take a quick look at it. Hold on one second here. And this is it right here. This is the euro, and we have been doing okay in the euro. Let's get this up here. Uh, this has been very good to us. Now, what we're doing now, we're looking at the euro on the daily. Okay, we've been we've been trading it from the long side here these last few days, and uh, we've had some nice ABCD patterns. But what we need to do now, and we're going to be watching what that 382 level is going to be, and that's from the high down to the low. Oh, my goodness, what happened today? Shut the front door and raise the rent. There it is again, the old 382. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Uh, hold on here. It says XYZ in out of you two ask about TTT and TBT. Uh, I'll take a look at them. I don't do those ETFs, but I can certainly look at the charts of the TLT because I've looked at them before, but I don't I don't like those ETFs. Uh, I think they're traded with. Uh, let's just do the uh, the TBT here. Uh, let's get this up here right here. This is the I believe this is the short treasury bonds. See, this doesn't make any sense to me. I can't make any. Let, well, let's I'll put the chart in. I'm sorry. I shut up and do the work. You'll see the 382 here without any trouble. Here's the 382. This is this is the uh, the. I mean, that, to me, it doesn't make any relationship to the treasury bond chart. It's so much easier to trade that. Now, you want to also take a look at the TLT, which is spelled a little differently. Get that one up here. This should be the reverse of that going down. And then we'll take a look at that, and you'll be able to. There the, you can't. The numbers are there. My goodness, I, I posted the numbers before, but I just don't, I don't, I don't do the chart because of the – hold on. I get the whole thing in here so you'll be able to see it. So I, I just don't do the – folks, I do futures. Come on, man. I, I, <laughs> it's so simple to do the darn things. I mean, you don't have to worry about uh, any of these things. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. This last rally we had here, let's just show you where we were if you like uh, – if you like 382s, you'll see there it was right here, right on the money, and take a look at that. You won't see this at Elliott Wave or any other place. Uh, just watch 382s when you have strong downtrending markets, strong uptrending markets. That's what you want to pay close attention to as you're looking at these here today. So I hope that helps. And I haven't shown those charts for a very, very long time because I look at the notes and the bonds. And that's what I try to do is to keep them under wraps. And that's what we're doing right now. Okay, let's move on here and do one other thing here. And that is pay attention to the natural gas because we have made a major bottom in natural gas, folks. Pay attention to this, but now what we're doing is we're just a little backing and filling today, but take it, keep watch this. This thing's got a lot of potential, both up and down. So we made a 61% retracement there. We've rallied a little bit from 82 all the way up to 25. That's a $4,000 rally, not even to the 382 of the previous high. If you do this, you'll be able to see it very easily on the uh, – I'll, I'll just, just do it like I did for the people for the from the uh, – 24-7 uh, last night, I drew this in so you'd be able to see that's exactly what we were looking at. We had not made the 382. We only got up to 0.32. That is not enough. It's got to get to 0.382. But we had a beautiful ABCD there. You can see that there at 15, excuse me, 522. We came down. And what we're doing now, folks, is we're making a 135 pattern. 
And those of you that you know have been to the the, uh, the day trading things that we do, we're going to do one on November 10th with Tommy Hugard. We're beautiful one three five pattern forming today, uh, right now with a lot of support at five dollars. And uh, I'll bring this up here to let you see this. But uh, we'll be describing this with uh, with PowerPoint presentations on that day on how to use them and that also again with the uh, with the 382 we're going to be doing that that's that that day is for making money folks we're going to be doing a lot of teaching you know because you don't want to be watching the markets you put something on and stare at every tick no we'll be we'll be teaching in between tom hugard and myself and uh, we'll be uh well looking forward to that that'll be on november the 10th and uh, we'll be doing it from five hours to nine until two uh, in the afternoon, five straight hours. And uh, we'll have Tom for at least an hour, maybe more. 877-927-6648. Uh, Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, we're back, and I have posted hold. It says, uh, uh, Mr. Bo is asking uh, my question about options. Very good. I put this chart of the NASDAQ, uh, Nikkei up there to show Mr. Z. I didn't do the uh, uh, Nikkei because I didn't. But let, let's talk about options. I got two minutes. I should spend a lot more time. Two of my 
best and most successful students. So one is in New Hampshire, the other is down in Nashville. Uh, John and uh, Robert, um, they have been doing options for well over 20 years. They are option sellers. They sell options at ABCD patterns. In other words, when D happens, you know, they're selling the calls or uh, selling the puts. They're option sellers. And folks, they make, I mean, boring as heck. Boring as heck, but it's easy money because an option is a, a, a decaying asset. People that buy options, and raise your hand, Larry, because I've done this too many times. People that buy options most of the time lose, but when they do and get it right, yeah, that's great. But that's only about 15% of the time. If you ever walk into the Chicago Board Options Exchange, Norm Winsky could tell you this. They wear these little badges that say, sell an option, buy a Mercedes. Because the only thing you have to remember is if you sell an option and that option goes against you like double, you've got to get out of it because you don't know what's going to happen next. That was the key to their success is when that option that they sold went against them, they were automatically out, not even thinking about it. That was all part of the program. So uh, if you you got think or swim in there, folks, my God, those guys are fabulous at this stuff. Just listen to what they do. I don't understand 99% of it. All I know is that if you sell an option, you can buy a Mercedes. So that's what I uh, that's what I'm thinking about options. I don't do them very often, but when I do, I think I have my odds odds in my favor. Otherwise, I just did one. I did a put for three hundred and seventy dollars. It looked like it was going to work for one day, <laughs> and of course, it didn't. But anyway, uh, learn to learn to be an option seller. Now we're at the three eight two now in this Hang Seng. And with an ABCD pattern, too. We've been rallying for well over uh, 10 days now, so we should start down in the Hang Seng very shortly. Uh, we'll see you folks on the flip side tomorrow. I'm going to have something special about foreign exchange tomorrow because we've got to be looking at the U.S. dollar closely. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>